Hey, what's up? This is Jonas. In this video, I'll be reviewing course wheel. So I'm going to log in to the dashboard and show you around. There's three ways you can create a video with course wheel. Number one, you can write or enter in a script. Number two, you can upload an existing video or audio file. And number three, you can record your audio right into the app and have course wheel automatically transcribe the audio and automatically put slides together that goes along with video files. So you have a ready to go video. Now you can customize the video in the live video editor. So you can make the text bigger. You can change the text. You can change the background. You can change the transitions. You can change the length of each slide and anything you can imagine. As you can see at the top right here, there's customization for text, the background media, which means video or images, audio, as well as motion and transitions. We'll get into all these settings. So you know exactly what this course wheel software can do. And I'm also going to be offering a bonus if you do decide to get CoastWheel for yourself. All the information, including discount codes if I find any, uh, pros and cons, a conclusion, and everything you will need will be in my full written review, including also uh, detailed information on the upgrades to CoastWheel and whether or not you need them. So you can click at the link below in the video description at any time during this video and get all the information. And you can also on this page, check out all the bonuses that you'll be getting for free if you do decide to get CoSwell through my page. Now let's get into the review and let me show you what CoSwell can do. Okay, so I'm going to be demonstrating by creating a video through text. So I'm gonna click here on the first option. So here you enter in a title, it can be title of your new video. And here you can enter in any text that you want and you can just write your script here or you can copy paste an existing script. So once you are happy with your script, you click on create. And now of course we'll, we'll put together each uh, sentence and assign a video slide to it. So each sentence is a new slide you can customize the text the video the background anything you can see here so let's go for it now we are on the first slide and we have the text right here it's very drag and drop as you can see and easy and intuitive to change the text so let's just go through each section one by one on this slide, we'll play around with the text. In the next slide, we'll play around with the background, so on and so forth, until we have gone through everything. So here on the text, we can see the settings that we have available, changing the font, changing the weight of the text, font size, boldness, italics, capital, stuff like this. <laughs> I don't even know what you call this. Text lowercase, text underline, and text uh, with a line through. Aligning the text, line height, font color for the text and font color for the background. So now this one has a black background. If you want to change it, you can do so. Maybe you want a back black one like this and white. I think that suits good. Yeah. So Obviously, you can change it however you want. I think the standard one is the best. Or you can get rid of this background as well if you want to do that. But I, I think it's a good idea to keep it because it makes it easier to read. So that's, as you can see, it for the text. Let's go to the next slide. Okay, so let's have a look at the background customization now. So if we click here, what we can do is that we can choose if we want a solid background color like this. If we want a background image like this, or if we want a background video, let me just type in a keyword. And this uh, software will pull videos and images from uh, websites that has royalty free images and videos available for you to use to use on you know, YouTube or wherever you want without uh, any copyright. So let me just pick any video and double click and the video should load. 
in a second. So there it is, that's the video. Again, if we need to adjust the text, we can do that. And there we go. So we can make the video longer or shorter as we like. Okay, so the next slide is media. And this is again images and video clips. This is just another way to add it. Or if you need to add a new slide, you can use this one as well. You can type in anything. <laughs> Let's use the same keyword. And again, if you want this, you can just put it in here on top if you want. If you would use the background, you would use the background feature. If you want to add something on top, you can do that here. And again, just delete it here. So that's it. So that's very self-explanatory. You can also do that with video clips. Uh, let's go to the audio section now. This is if you want a music track um, on top of your video or if you want to record a voiceover. Here you have the ability to record your own voice. You can also upload your own audio. Here you can select background music. You can also simply type something in which will then be converted to speech, called text-to-speech. And so you've got a few options here. If you want a nice background music, you can browse through this list right here. Let's just check this one out. Okay. sure that makes sense if you want any of these you just drag and drop it here on the timeline and now we have the audio right here so you can see you have the audio here this one is not too long so if you want something longer you may want to upload your own there's many ways to get royalty free music or you can simply choose one that is a little bit longer. Okay, so let's have a look at the motion tab. So let me select this text right here. And let's click on the bounce. So now our text can bounce. We can do this flashing thing. This is the attention seeker. Rubber band. So there's a different... <laughs> a different uh, type of animations as you can see here so that's fun that makes your video a little bit more alive feel free to use that i think it's good to use sometimes but maybe not too much all right and the last section we will look at is the transitions so obviously this is transitioning from one video to the next or one slide to the next and it makes a nice little fade so as you can see, Course Real makes it super simple and easy to make videos for your course, your video sales letter, or just any type of YouTube video that you want to create for whatever channel in whatever niche you like. Now the question is, will there be upgrades and do you need them? Yes, there's additional upgrades that you can get. You don't necessarily need them. Only if you, for example, need videos longer than an hour, maybe you'll want upgrade one and upgrade two is more like if you want somebody else to do it for you um, done for you um, upgrade three is if you want your videos to be translated into other languages the business upgrade here is additional features for business additional done for you stuff that you can get and then there's additional video creator as the last upgrade do you need them no if you need a shortcut to your success in certain areas, then yes, that can be useful. But all you really need is just the front end. So if you would like to get Coursera for yourself, you can check out the full written review. A link below will be in the description of this video. And you can also grab a ton of free bonuses that I've put together for you to make it even easier to make money with Coursera. There'll be additional software, additional training additional templates and everything you need you can check out all the bonuses on 
this bonus page and you can get them completely free just for getting Kosovo through this page. All the instructions will be on this page. There's just three simple steps. You can check them out at the bottom of this page. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video and I'll see you on the inside or in another video. Bye for now.